Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, that we who honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart, may through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Absalom unexpectedly came up against David's servants. He was mounted on a mule, and as the mule passed under the branches of the large cherubim, his hair clipped fast in the tree. He hung between heaven and earth, while the mule he had been riding ran off. Someone saw this and reported to Joab that he had seen Absalom hanging from a cherubim, and taking three pikes in hand, he thrust through the heart of Absalom, still hanging from the tree of Ai. Now David was sitting between the two gates, and a lookout went up to the roof of the gate above the city wall, where he looked about and saw a man running all alone. The lookout shouted to inform the king, who said, If he is alone, he has good news to report. The king said, Step aside and remain in attendance here. So he stepped aside and remained there. When the Cushite messenger came in, he said, Let my lord, the king, receive the good news that this day the Lord has taken your part, freeing you from the grasp of all who rebelled against you. But the king asked the Cushite, Is young Absalom safe? The Cushite replied, May the enemies of my lord, the king, and all who rebel against you with evil intent, be as that young man. The king was shaken, and went up to the room of the city gate to weep. He said as he wept, My son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you, Absalom, my son, my son. Joab was told that the king was weeping and mourning for Absalom, and that David's victory was turned into mourning for the whole army when they heard that the king was grieving for his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial, listen, Lord, and answer me. Listen, Lord, and answer me. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me. For I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. This is the Lord. Have mercy on me, O Lord. For to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. This is the Lord. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. This is the Lord, and answer me. 
Gospel according to Mark. Glory when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials, named Jairus, came forward, and seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed them. There, were a, there was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and had spent all that she had. Yet she had not helped, but she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, if I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately, her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, who has touched my clothes? But the disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha koum, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of 12, arose immediately and walked around. At that, they were utterly astonished. He gave strict orders not that not, no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> I think I hear that screeching you were talking about. <laughs> Don't know what's going on in the church. There's a banshee loose or something. <laughs> So, as we uh, reflect on uh, today's scripture, something else came to my mind. This poor woman suffered for 12 years at the hands of many doctors. I hope they weren't at Riddle Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary and Rose. <laughs> so, as we hear today's, today's gospel, uh, gospel hymn comes back to me. Um, Reach out and touch the hem of his garment 
and his blood shall make you whole. There's sort of a kind of a, a, a play on words there because the woman reaches out and touches his garment and it says, his blood shall make you whole because it's speaking not just of her particular situation, but all of our situation. That is the blood of Christ that has made us whole. It is the blood of Christ that has cleansed us. The book of Revelation says that there were an uncountable number of people around the throne of God who had been saved, who were wearing white robes that were washed in the blood of the Lamb. Even that has a juxtaposition. How can something be made white by being cleansed in blood. Well, the blood of Christ cleanses our soul and the garment we wear is just a reflection of our interior life. And our interior life is washed clean by the blood of the lamb. All we need do is reach out and touch. I ask that we pray for all those today who suffer from chronic illnesses, illnesses that continue on for many years like this Poor woman who suffered for 12 years with hemorrhaging that the Lord would touch them that they would have the faith to reach out and touch him let us stand to pray <clears throat> confident in God's grace and mercy let us offer our prayers before him for all members of the church, may the Lord in his divine goodness watch over us and help us joyfully seek the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit be their guide in working to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who suffer from chronic pain, May the Lord bring them peace, respite, and new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord bless us with the eyes and heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord's perpetual light shine upon them, most especially for Steve Rudder being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? For my friend Kathy, who's in the hospital with RSV and pneumonia, and for my friend's husband Bob, who's also in the hospital, and for my niece Roisin, who's having diagnostic testing, which, dear God, she gets a good result. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For my friend Sammy, who's been 32 days in the hospital and faces several surgeries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask that you listen to the prayers before you and answer them according to your holy will. We pray this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless Bless God. God.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Jesus our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble adoration as we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to the, his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Steve being remembered at this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Forget, forget not our sins, but forgive me for me forgetting the words. Lord Jesus Christ, let me start from the beginning. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and generously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. 
Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through the help to eternal salvation, through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Yes. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing the second verse of our hymn. I believe it begins with heart, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim in unceasing